nature's silent music is all around us, orchestrating how living organisms interact. Gerald Meinwald has spent his life listening to the smallest melodies. Figuring out how molecules behave themselves is an absolutely fascinating subject because the molecules are so small, they're absolutely teeny tiny, and yet chemists are able to study their structure, to study their behavior, and to figure out what the rules are that govern their behavior. Meinwald arrived at Cornell steeped in chemistry since childhood. And I'm still here 62 years later, but the chemistry I did at that stage was traditional conventional organic chemistry. And I was pursuing the structures of naturally occurring molecules, and I was interested in reaction mechanisms. And then there appeared on the scene a new Cornell faculty member called Tom Eisner. Tom, the biologist, and Jerry, the chemist, collaborated for some 50 years, defining chemical ecology and showing how molecules carry crucial messages throughout the biotic world. It was very valuable to talk to a colleague who could say, look, here's chemistry being used in nature and nobody knows what the chemistry is. And we will understand the biology very much better if you can sort of bring it down to a molecular level. Meinwald's work on butterflies and moths uncovered the chemical triggers of elaborate courtship rituals, showing that highly complex behavior may be controlled with simple molecules. We ended up characterizing the first male-produced pheromone that looked more like a plant toxin than like an animal metabolite. And what we finally realized is that the male gathers quite a bit of these toxins from the plants. When they mate with the females, they transmit the toxin intact, rendering her eggs distasteful to egg predators like ladybugs. Complex insect and snake chemical defenses were discovered through Meinwald's groundbreaking use of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy and mass spectrometry. Well, it turns out that essentially all organisms have chemical interactions with each other and with their environment. Gerald Meinwald's work reveals that to understand how organisms interact on Earth, we must preserve our vanishing ecosystems. He argues that nature's chemistry is the music of all life. <laughs>